Hello everyone, good afternoon and welcome to another session. This is actually our fourth episode with Architect JP Espino, our um, Architect of the Month. Okay, so siya ang ating highlight architect for the month. And guys, um, today maganda yung ano natin, maganda yung episode natin sa Pro Stock, sa Build This Pro Stock. Kasi you can ask anything about digital the digital architects okay and you can go go personal with architect JP Espino pero mas maganda rin na ano na bigyan natin ng ano na uh, makapagtanong kayo ng mga relevant or related sa professions as well as sa advocacy ng ating the digital architects so again please welcome back architect JP Espino architect kumusta Mm-hmm. Yeah, ito. Yes, hold on, Arki, ah. I'm copying. Ayan, send ko sa'yo sa... Ito na, ayan. Nice. Yeah. Ayan, guys. Mm -mm. So, let's wait, Arki, for a few people. Oo. Arki, nalunig mo pa ako? Yes. Okay. Out of fear. I'm testing your microphone sa... Ano, okay. Sana may mag-confirm kung nalunig ka nila. Hindi ko pa na po post. Teka lang. Nakikita natin yan. Actually, mahina ka. Mahina. Yeah, uh, so live. Ay... Ano kaya? Zaya! Makuha ko ng isang earphones. Lalakas ako na lang boses ko. Yan, better? Lalakasan ko na lang. Kasi hindi na ako makatayo. <laughs> hindi na ako. Yan, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're good, good. Arky. You're good. Actually, ano, okay, malinaw ka, malinaw. So... Mm -hmm. Let's just wait for a few people to jump into our live. Ayan. So, maganda yung topic natin. Ay, actually, maganda yung episode natin this afternoon. Okay? Ayan. Uh, Kaka-share ko lang sa group ko, ay sa page ko, The Digital Architect. I'm just sharing the link to a few groups. Yes. So, let's see. Again, ano nga ulit yung ano mo, mechanics mo? Ayan. Sa iyong, uh, what's this? The, Ito, Arky, the giveaway. Ayan. Um, they can share yung live natin on their timeline and then tag two of their friends using the hashtags BuildTV, hashtag ProStock, and the Digital Architect. So, tag lang nila dalawang tao, then use yung tatlong hashtags na yan. Okay. So, Ayan. I can I can see the live na i ano lang natin i share. Dapat yung sa Build TV live ko mismo i ano. While sharing ang ating live, Arky, um, mm -hmm. kamusta naman ang iyong ano? Kamusta naman ang transition? Nag-transition na ba kayo sa ano? From... Wala ako transition kasi even before, naka-quarantine na ako, work from home ako eh, di ba? Ako nga pala. Uh, so, it's the same thing with me. Ang nagiging difference na lang ngayon is marami na akong clients na nagsaset up ng face-to-face -face meeting. So, tinatanda ko pa, <laughs> if we are going to push through, kasi as much as possible, ayaw ko pa rin lumabas ng hindi pa necessary. Yes. Um, but if, uh, okay naman, within within my office naman, so that should be okay. Mm -hmm. uh, pero one thing that I decided on is hindi pa ako mag-start ng construction. 
Okay. Um, kasi medyo risky, very risky pa rin siya for, for the workers, for the clients, is, and for me as well. Of course, pag nag-start yung construction, hindi pwedeng hindi ko pupuntahan yung site. So, Dinadad um, pa rin yata ang travel uh, permit, right? So, parang in, yung inter-province, hindi ka pa rin yes. pwede lumabas. Correct. Mm-hmm. Pero, hindi pa rin. May Pero, mga, ano, we didn't... May mga construction ano na, may mga construction site na, na nag-ooperate. Yes, mayroon, mm-hmm. pero technically ang um, sinasabi according to their guidelines is mm-hmm. yun pa rin sa mga essentials lang. Yeah. So kami na private projects dapat hindi pa rin kami mag-mobilize. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's why ako hindi hindi pa talaga kami magpapa-start ng construction. Mhm. At okay. least for, for my team, for my aunt, diba? Yeah. Um, for those na nag-start na, eh, it's it's their risk. Mm-hmm. Of course, hindi ko naman sila mababawalan. Sabi nga ni King Chu, pwede na pala ikaw lumabas, <laughs> diba? <laughs> Pero for me, I've decided, wag muna. Uh, it's too risky for me, mm-hmm. for, for my workers, for the clients, for everybody else. Well, so I will pa probably wait it out. Pa. Correct. Discretion pa rin ng... Ano, ng, ng project managers and engineers and architects if they ano no if they want to ano Mm-mm. to be on site kasi parang hindi pa naman nila required right Mm-mm. hindi pa talaga dapat according to the guidelines hindi pa mm-hmm. dapat so Correct. if they are following the law then wag wag muna mhm nice yun eh, alam, alam mo naman ako eh <laughs> yung, yung decision ko sa mga ganyan is doon pa rin ako sa tama yes. diba uh, yeah. if bawal bawal Correct. Oh, Correct. Ganun lang kasi. And I'm also sharing I'm our sure lives sa mga groups. Oo nga eh. Sa mga ano, sinalihan kong mga construction groups kasi actually na-allow okay. naman nila yung ano, yung mga ganitong ano, live natin. Yeah, and it is very informative for for the people yeah. in our industry as well, Correct. diba? So, Correct. ewan ko lang kung medyo informative oh. sa inyo ang mga <laughs> question. <laughs> Actually, dati kong natutunan over the last uh, three weeks na nag, ano tayo, nag-live, I've learned a lot about architect. And of course, your advocacy as an architect, kasi ba diba, napapabayaan yung, hindi naman, hindi ko alam kung napapabayaan, ha? Um, <laughs> hindi, lang, hindi lang siguro yung term, I'm, I'm not sure kung tama yung term ko, parang hindi lang siguro uh, napofocus yung value ng architect Uh, sa yes. Philippines, especially sa Philippines. So, mm-hmm. and I'm glad that you open up so many ano, eyes during our live session since day one. Ang dami, ang dami namin natutunan actually, architect. Actually, may mga friends ako, personal friends, who are asking, Uy, baka man pwede mo kong i-ano, i- i-connect kay architect kasi marami akong mga questions. So, probably today, we can answer those questions. Di ba, Arky? Profession. Yeah, parang nawala ka kanina, Arky. Pero Actually, not... nag ka rin sa akin. Oh, parang has na lumalabas na your internet connection is unstable. Uh, okay. Pero okay na. Nagkihinga luman ang internet natin. Yeah, yeah okay. Na. So, ayan. So, while waiting for a few more people, guys, um, mm-hmm. Arky, uh, ano ko lang, i-announce ko lang kung ano yung ano natin ngayon. Ano ba yung episode natin today? Ang episode natin today, guys, is Buildy Pros AMAs. Okay, so ask me anything with Architect JPSP. No, guys, if you have questions, just comment down below. So, whatever questions you have in mind about Architect, gusto yung magpakot kay Architect, <laughs> pero baka hindi kaya ni Architect yung quotation dito. Pero let's, ano, let's, let's see. Let's see. Prospects na... You know, nag-iisip na magpagawa for whatever project. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ako, sa mga fellow architects po na may mga question, go yes. ahead and please write down the questions. Sa lahat ng followers ko, uh, sige po, comment lang kayo ng questions nyo. And we'll try to answer each, each of your question kung ano man yung pwede natin share. Yan. Yeah. Yeah. Napakabait ni Arky eh. Um... Sasagutin no. niya lahat ng ano, sasagutin niya lahat ng mga questions niya guys. So, 
Sasagutin ko lahat. Huwag lang po ang Meralco bills niyo. <laughs> yung parang may tatanong ko, RT. Sabi ko lang gano'n, parang nag-trip na yung bill namin ng, ano, ng electricity this month, uh, last few months. So, baka makahingi kami ng, ano, ng donation from architect. Wala pong paayuda si architect dahil nagpabayad rin po ako. Ng... I like that. Walang paayuda si architect. <laughs> so, guys, don't hesitate to, ano, ha? Si Marie, Ma'am Maria Solidad, Solidarity. Mm-hmm. Hello, Ma'am Maria Solidarity. Thank you for watching. Batiin muna natin sila yung mga nasa room natin. Hindi ko nakikita yung mga comments. Okay, ba- baka delay lang architect pero um Yan may mga nagka-heart yeah. naman at mga mga nagla-like. Yan. Mm-hmm. Support support po kayo. <laughs> support support po. Um Hashtag, ano ba to? Like, like, like. And pusuan nyo po yung live natin. And then share nyo po sa mga friends niyo, Sa mga close relatives niyo who might need an advice from an architect. Mm-hmm. Mas laid back tayo ngayon, no? Kasi Q&A to and you can ask anything. Gaya nga ng title ni, ni Will. You can ask anything kung ano po ang... Uh, whatever na gusto niyo pong alamin na ma-share ko sa inyo, comment lang po kayo and we'll try to answer that. Although hindi ko makita, we'll so paki, ano yeah. na lang sa akin. I'll, I'll, I'll send you or I'll inform you na lang. Para may problema sa, mm-hmm. ano, para may problema yung ano ni diba? Wala yung like diba? and Parang, comment? Yes. Yes. Kanina meron Ngayon yung mismong live feed, hindi ko na makita. Although nakikita ko sa taas live, tapos kung ilan yung nanonood. Correct. But the feed itself, I can't see it na eh. Yeah, ako rin. Hindi ko rin siya makita. Baka may problema sa ano. Let me refresh ha. Refresh ko lang mm-hmm. ulit, guys. So, anyway, while waiting for your ano, while waiting for your questions, yeah, si Architect D... Lids is watching. Architect, yeah, hello. How did you start your career as an architect, Dao? From architect D. Lids. Okay. Uh, yeah, my career. Ah, oh, sige, start na tayo. Yeah. Ready na sila eh. Para lang lang kita na pagkwentuhan. Okay. Wow. How did I start my career? Uh, unang unang work ko po is that I was a project architect right away. Nakatawa oh. kasi. Dumiretso ako to a uh, project architect. Isa, isa, isa to sa, uh, ano ba, ang kakaiba because hindi ako dumaan sa pagka-draftsman. Um, right after college, nung panahon ko, okay, there, there, we have to do two years of apprentice before you take the board exam. Okay. Eh, dahil medyo wais ako. <laughs> wais talaga. Diba? Ang inisip ko, I have to get ahead. So what I did, nag-take agad ako ng board exam. And para makapag-take ako ng board exam, third year college pa lang po ako, nag apprentice na ako. So I started working with DMCI as an apprentice for uh, when I was in third year college. And then, so right, hindi pa ako gumagraduate, nag, nag-enroll na ako for a review center. My graduation was March 25. Naka-enroll na ako ng February. Hindi pa ako gumagraduate okay. sa review center na ako. <laughs> so, I took the board exam right away. Um, I was supposed to take the board exam ng June. Nag-apply na ako. Pero hindi ako pinayagan ng PRC. Um, saying, I, I, yun nga, uh, hilaw pa daw. I have to get more experience daw. So, eh, malakas ang loob ko noon. Bata pa ako. I went up to the board of the PRC at that time. Kinausap ko sila, kompleto po yung requirements ko. I have 3,000 plus of apprentice hours. I should be taken in. So, nakausap ko yung, um, yung chairman ng, ng PRC for architecture at that time. And hindi talaga na ako pinayagan. But they allowed me to apply for January board exam. Okay. So, uh, adi, okay na. Nag-take ako ng board exam ng January, pumasa ako agad. That's why, technically, ang unang-unang trabaho ko po, yung paid na trabaho, is a project architect right away. Kasi, lisensyado ako agad. 
So, isa po yun sa, uh, kumbaga, eh, ano ba, strategy ko. Diba? Bata pa lang, umi-strategy na ako. So, yeah, isa yun sa strategy na ginawa ko. Kaya, hindi ako dumaan sa pagka-draftsman as, as, uh, as an employee. Uh, pero ngayon, hindi na pwede yun kasi nag-release na sila ng, ng um, nag-release na sila. Rule. Yeah, nag-release na sila ng rule that it should be two years after graduation. So, isa ako doon sa huling nakalusot to do that. So, there. Yun po ang simula ng aking career as an architect. I was a project architect for a developer. Nagsimula ako as a project architect uh, for a construction management. Developer side ako, um, high-rise building agad yung hinawa ko Nice, napakagaling naman. Architect. Magaskarte lang sa buhay. Pero architect, ano, um, question, ano ba, since nabanggit mo, yung, ano, yung, ano yung dapat na unang step? I mean, hindi siguro dapat, or required ba na kailangan daanan yung mga steps na yan? For example, um, draftsman muna, and then you go up to project uh, architect, and then, Uh, main, ano, ba tawag, ano, ba, ano ba tawag sa pinaka ano, sa main architect ba or uh, prime architect? <laughs> ano, ano ba yung mga level na, da, na, na tingin mo or para based on, based on in the industry standard na pinagdadaanan okay. ng architect? Okay, sige. Uh, meron akong sagot dyan. Pero before that, nag-message si architect si Lynn. Malakas daw ang echo. I will take out my earphones. Okay. Mas better po ba to pag wala akong earphones, wala nang echo? Sa comment architect leads, kung meron pa rin echo na malakas. I'm, I'm testing architect ah. I'm checking my, mm-hmm. ano, my line. I am seeing uh, the watch party from my personal account. Hindi ko alam, hindi ko nakikita yung sa may aking Facebook page. Wait, I'll check my Facebook page kung meron na tayo din. Same pa din daw, malakas yeah. pa rin yung echo. Meron nga, meron. Jay, uh, pakitakbo mo yung earphones ko please, it's under mama's bed. Sili na. May, may mic yun eh. Use, let me use your ano, let me use your... Yeah, try try namin ano ha, i-connect sa AirPods ng <laughs> Yeah. Let's try this. Hopefully this works. And while I am still trying to set up my audio system na ito lang. Um, you can comment po. Is this yeah, better? Guys, you comment down below yung mga questions ninyo. If you have questions na gusto kong itanong kay architect, ang hanging question natin ngayon is ano-ano ba yung mga steps na pinagdadaanan? So, let's test yung earphone muna ni Arky. Is this better, guys? Mas malinaw na po ba? Or malakas pa rin ang echo? Wait lang, Arky. Hinaan mo yung delay, audio delay ng device akin, eh. mo. Hininaan ko na po. Same pa din sa echo. Can you comment guys kung mas matindino na ngayon? Okay, take it. Pa comment po, better na ba? Or malakas pa rin yung echo? Ito rin yung problem natin last time, eh, no? Yeah. Narinig mo ako, Arky? Yeah, I can hear you. Pakomment po. Malakas pa po ba yung echo? Nawala yung sound. sound. Nawala yung Totally sound. nawala yung sound. Oh? Parehas na hindi walang sound. Si Will tsaka ako po, parehas na walang sound. Yes, better na. Si Dayan, okay na. Kay Architect Leads, nawala raw yung sound. I think okay na. Sa akin okay na, Arky. Okay, okay. Ito lang. It's just the... Let's ask, ano, architect leads. Let's ask architect leads. Nag-e-echo pa din. 
Meron po ulit echo. Aha. Ayan po. Is it better now? May malakas ulit yung echo. Mag-order na ako ng mic. <laughs> Ayan, help us guys sa teknika. Eh, okay na daw. Better. Okay, good. So, let's Sorry, sorry for that. Yeah, sorry guys. Baka dumating na yung in order ko na ano, na audio system. Yan, okay na daw. Yan, okay na tayo. So, what's the hanging question? Ang hanging question is, saan mag-start? Yes. Ito is, for my ano lang ha, for my experience. Okay. Of course, magkakaiba po tayo ng Descarte. Ako, lagi ako kung saan yung Descarte. Magkakaiba tayong tao, magkakaiba tayo ng Descarte sa buhay. Pero sa dinaanan ko, uh, being in the industry now for 16 years, um, alam ko kung saan ako nagkulang at saan ako sumablay. And for me, sa mga pasimula pa lang po na architect, like, those who are still studying or those who are still uh, about to take the board exam or dun pa lang sa um, yung magsisimula parang mag-apprentice, my, my advice for you to start on is mag-start po tayo sa isang architectural firm. Ako kasi, nag-ano ako eh, I chose to I chose to go to project management right away. Mm -hmm. Kasi unang-una, boss ka agad. Mm -hmm. Project architect ka agad. Diba? Pangalawa, mas malaki yung sweldo. Kasi <laughs> in an architectural firm, <laughs> usually, may liit lang yung sweldo. And tambak ka talaga sa trabaho. Mm -hmm. Usually, nandyan yung mga grabbing overtime. Pero if you really want to build your career na gusto mo na equip ka para lumaban sa talagang yung career mo na as an architect, for me, it is good to start sa isang architectural firm. Mm -hmm. Kasi doon mo matututunan yung lahat ng detalye, doon mo matututunan yung mga specifications, doon mo, doon na meron pa rin mag-guide sa'yo na talagang bihasa na arkitekto. Hindi yung sabak ka agad sa site, mm -hmm. utos ka na ng utos, <laughs> or ka ng meeting, mas maganda pa rin yung foundation if you start from scratch. So, kung kaya rin lang namang tiisin yung maliit na sweldo, it's good for you to start in an architectural firm. Pag-aralan mo talaga yung nitty-gritty ng drawings, ng specifications, ng detalye para pagka ready ka na, licensed ka na, alam mo na lahat kung paano siya i-drawing. Then you can move to the site. Doon ka na pumunta sa site na para makita mo na ano na yung dinadrawing mo. Mm -hmm. diba? So, for me, yun yung magandang discarte. Hindi yun ang ginawa ko. Kung medyo nahirapan ako, pero if you're going to ask me now kung ano magandang discarte, yun ang para sa akin ang magandang discarte. Nice, nice. Pero, based on your experience yan, Arki, no? So, oh. hindi naman yan talaga yung standard. So, nasa kanila pa rin talaga yes. kung saan sila magsimula. <laughs> Depende yan sa kung anong discarte mo sa buhay. Yeah. If you want to be, sabi ko nga sa inyo, nag-start ako as a project architect right away. Dahil lesensyado agad ako. Mm -hmm. Dahil gusto ko ako agad maging boss. Mm -hmm. Kung ganun din yung gusto mo, just go ahead. Mm -hmm. Pero um, yun nga, para sa akin, now na tumagal na ako sa industriyang to, alam ko kung saan ako nagkulang, alam ko kung saan ako nahirapan. Mm -hmm. And if yung is ko, yung magtrabaho sa isang architectural firm na talagang ikaw yung nagda-draft ng mga detalye, mm -hmm. na ikaw yung naglalagay ng mga specs, I think I will be better equipped mm -hmm. para mag-handle ng mga uh, sarili kong project now. Uh, so, ang ginawa ko, nag 
basis na ako on my own. Dahil hindi ko dinaanan yun eh. Honestly, for my whole 16 years of career, uh-huh. I was in an, ar- an architectural firm for probably 6 months lang. Hindi, hindi ako umabot ng 1 year. Uh-huh. So, I had to I had to research on my own. Yung mga detalye niyon, nag-research ako, nagtanong ako sa fellow architects, tumingin ako sa sal, nagtanong ako sa mga engineers, nagtanong ako sa foreman, uh-huh. nagtanong ako sa karpintero, di ba? Um, nakuha ko pa rin. And hanggang uh-huh. ngayon, I'm still learning. Uh-huh. Pero, for me, a good process is you start with the going, you start being guided by an experienced architect. Uh-huh. And, no way, and no better way to do that but being an architectural firm. I see. Correct. Nice. Um, Arki, batiin lang natin yung mga viewers natin. Welcome to live, Diane Frogosa. Si Ma'am Christine Gonzalez, eh, welcome back to our live, uh, Christine Gonzalez. Si Ma'am Eileen Lomibaw Marayag. And merong question, architect. Si mm-hmm. Miss, yeah. si architect D. Lids. Ayan, very mm-hmm. ano to, very relevant ano, uh, question. Architect, how do you deal with non-licensed architect with more than with more than projects than us? Uh, probably with more projects than us, or gets the projects instead of us that has experience. Okay. Um, ang sagot ko po dyan is one thing. Kaya for me, ha, uh, again, lahat po ng susabihin ko is my own opinion, so wag niyo po akong ibabas later. <laughs> In my opinion, kaya mas maraming projects, or hindi naman mas marami, mm-hmm. may nakukuhang projects yung mga not, 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 non-licensed uh, personnel compared to us na licensed architects is one, because of pride. Ayaw niyo pong mag-market. Ayaw niyong sabihin sa mga tao, I'm an architect, this is what I can do. Okay, iba yung pag-market na you're only sharing your value at iba mm-hmm. yung pag-market na nagbayad ka ng paid ad ha? Bawal yun. Bawal yun. Yeah, yun. bawal yun. So, for me, one thing, nakarugtong naman ang sagot na yun is mm-hmm. marketing. Tinuruan tayo sa eskwelahan kung paano mag-drawing ng tama, kung ano yung mga details, kung paano i-jive yan sa mga engineering or allied uh, drawings or allied plans. Mm-hmm. Pero hindi tayo tinuruan kung paano kumuha ng kliyente. <laughs> hindi tayo tinuruan kung paano i-offer ng service mo. Yun ang kulang natin. So, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm trying to share over, uh, to all of you guys. Mm-hmm. That's why um, uh, last Wednesday I had the digital seminar architect. seminar, UAPPDC online seminar teaching digital marketing to architects. And before that, the week before that, I was also um, teaching basics on digital marketing, also on UAPPDC online seminar. I'm sharing what I know because it works. Mm-hmm. And of course, yung kung tinuturo ko, it's still guided and aligned sa ating code of ethics. Isa po yun sa nilinawin ko, ha? We can do marketing, we can do digital marketing, but always be guided by the code of ethics. Mm-hmm. So, kaya tayo na, nasasapawan ng mga not, hindi naman license, kasi hindi tayo nagmamarket, number one. Secondly, we have a lot of limitations, kagaya nga nung code of ethics. Yes. Pero pwede, kaya pa rin. Mm-hmm. Um, kaya pa rin natin magmarket, kaya pa rin natin kumuha ng mga projects, kaya pa rin natin kumuha ng mga kliyente nang hindi natin lalabagin yung code of ethics. Yes. So, kailangan lang natin magtuto ng strategy ng marketing and that's what I've been sharing to you guys. Yun yung so, advocacy those, ni Architect. Yeah, yeah, for those who are new to me mm-hmm. or to build, to build this channel or to build your TV, um, I've been sharing my strategies, marketing strategies to architects, to engineers, to to interior designers and everybody in the industry in my page, the Digital Architect page, Facebook page. Mm-hmm. And also, uh, mag-open na rin ako ng YouTube channel kasi marami na naglalagay ng mukha ko sa YouTube clickbait nila. <laughs> so, mag-open na ako. So, um, meron na rin akong 
YouTube channel and I will be sharing more of these strategies to you guys. Kung mga gusto po mag-subscribe, it's uh, bit.ly um, underscore PDA YouTube. Yon. So, subscribe po kayo. I hope that answers the question, Architect Leads. Yeah, si Architect Leads yun. Thank you, Architect, for... Thank you, Architect the Leads. Kay Architect Leads, salamat. And may next question, Architect, kay Ana. Before tayo mag, ano, mag-check ng questions, uh, ad- inform lang natin yung mga viewers natin that we have a promo, or a, a promo ba to, or ano, ano ba? Um, win a t-shirt. Win a free buildy t-shirt. Yan. Sana merong manalo kasi last three sessions natin wala pang nakakakuha or nakaka, nakakasunod dun sa mechanics natin. So, Guys, if you want to get a free t-shirt from Buildy, please share your share this live on your timeline. Tag two of your friends and use hashtags Buildy TV, ProStock, and the Digital Architect hashtag. So, tatlo lang yung hashtags natin. Then, tag kayo ng dalawang friends niyo, and you can win our limited edition Buildy t-shirt. Yan. So, para maramdaman ninyong kapamilya at kapuso kayo ng Bildi. Yan, mamimigay tayo ng yeah, t-shirt. Meron nang nag-like nag, 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 nag and nag-share. Nakita ko sa, sa notification ko. Yan, so, i-audit, ko i-audit na namin ni Architect later yan and then after this live, we will announce kung paano nyo makukuha at sino yung nanalo. Architect, Arch, 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 right? Hmm, yes, okay. correct. So, um, for the next question, Arch, I'll go, go ahead. Uh-huh. Hindi, nakikita ko lang na marami nag-live, so nag-heart. Actually, salamat sa mga papapuso. Nga, nga, salamat so, daw sa papuso. <laughs> <laughs> salamat sa papuso. Mukhang may ibang tanong yung mga nagpapapuso sa iyo, architect, later. Pero, <laughs> unahin muna natin yung tanong ni Miss Diane Progosa. Um, tanong ni Miss Diane, meron po ba kayong firm architect? Mukhang gusto niyang mag-apply sa iyo, Archie. Hi, hello. Yes, Diane. Uh, yes, my firm is called The Digital Architect. Mm-hmm. Eh, pero na kung announcement actually, pero wag muna. Nasa ano pa kami ngayon? Nasa hot hot na meeting pa kami ngayon. Pero yes, uh, I have my own architectural firm. And um, technically, pag lisensado ka na na arkitekto, meron ka ng firm. Kasi you can already practice your profession as an architect because of that license. Oh. So, even if you are employed, Pwede ka pa rin mag-offer ng free new design sa client. Okay. It's still an architectural firm. Ang kaibahan lang naman kasi nun is what we call an architectural firm. This is an actual office na merong mga tauhan, merong mga draftsman, merong pang ibang mga personnel. Mm-hmm. Pero technically, as an architect, as soon as you get your license, you can already offer your services as an architect. So, yun na po ang sinyales na pwede ka nang mag-offer ng services mo, pwede ka nang mag-design ng bahay, ng building, at kung ano pa man. Uh-huh. Yan. Yan. Yan, apply na kayo kasi maganda magpasweldo si Architect. <laughs> maganda magpasweldo si Architect. <laughs> Generous si Architect. Oh, siguro, i-clear ko lang din, no? Hmm. My architect law firm is working very differently from the rest. Uh-huh. Uh, the architect, the digital architect firm is a virtual office, meaning we only work online. I have engineers, draftsmen, na hindi ko kasama sa, sa bahay dahil I work, I work from home, di ba? Ang talaga pong nagpapatakbo ng kumpanya ko ay ang aking anak. Ay ang aking anak. She has most of the... Most of the back end, most of the documentation, di ba? Um, for, for, for other works like yung engineering, yung drafting, uh-huh. um, naka-outsource po yan. I don't have an actual office. Hindi kami naka- I mean, meron. Pero um, the, wor- the way my, my firm works is virtually. Lahat po online. Even on how I deal with clients, even on how I talk to clients, it's all online. Mm-hmm. Yung nga yung tinuturo ko sa The Digital Architect Workshop eh. Mm-hmm. So that, kasi hindi naman lahat ng arkitekto, lalo na kung nagsisimula ka, lalo na if you're let's say 23, 22 years old, 25 years old, nakakapasa mo lang ng board exam, wala naman tayong puhunan para magkayo ng kumpanya, magrenta ng office 
Pilipina mag-hire ng maraming tao, di ba? It's very um, hard for us to start a firm. Kaya tinuturo ko on what is the easy way to do it. And that's what I've been doing for the past six years. Kaya, pwede, and it is still very legal for us to render our service as an architect in that format. So, yun po. So, banga, um, um, kakapasa lang ng board na gustong mag-start ng kanilang architectural firm. Diba? Um, pwede yun. Uh, if you wanna know more about it, hopefully after ng PCQ, magkaroon ako ng na matuloy na ulit yung aking digital architect workshop. I'm teaching that in those workshops. So, yun. Nice. At magkaroon ulit yung anak ko. So, thank you, anak. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that answers the question, Diane, no? Yeah, thank you daw, Architect, actually. nag nag siya, nag-comment siya. So, guys, if you have uh, other questions all about architecture or all about construction industry, please comment down below para uh, magkaroon tayo ng conversation with Architect, uh, Architect JP Espino, okay? So, again, guys, sa mga bago sa Buildy, um, our guest for today or this afternoon is architect JP Espino from the Digital Architect. Siya po ang ating uh, architect na, na may advocacy na kilalanin ang architect sa industriya, hindi hindi yung binabaliwala, right architect? Yeah, yeah. Um, next question yeah. from uh, Miss Via Nugit Cruz. Mm-hmm. Yan. Interesting tong question yung architect. Will it be cheaper to hire a project manager than get a Pacquiao workers than getting a contractor? Yung yung first question niya. Second question is, difference of getting landscape architect versus going straight to landscaping contractor or sellers. Okay, first question muna tayo, Arki. Will it be cheaper to hire a Pacquiao ano, project manager? Ay, Pacquiao versus project manager. Again, in my opinion, bibigyan ko na lang, bibigyan ko na lang yung pros and cons ha, kasi it's still up to them to decide. So, if you hire a project manager, let's say meron kang architect or engineer na project manager to handle the construction, tapos kukuha ka na lang ng mga tao for pakyawan. Um, yes, ang pros noon, baka makatipid ka mm-hmm. dahil binabayaran mo lang per month or per day si project architect tapos wala nang profit si contractor. Mm-hmm. Kasi ang contractor of course, it's a business. Yeah. Siyempre, may profit siya. Um, mm-hmm. Just to give you an idea, ang usual profit ng mga contractor is minimum 25% up to 50%. So malaki yun, di ba? Mm-hmm. So malaking chance na makatipid ka if you do that. Di ba? Yeah. Ang cons naman nun is if hindi experienced yung hinaran mo na project manager or hindi na natutukan yung project, mm-hmm. then pwede rin siyang mapabayaan. Pwede rin siyang hindi, hindi ka makatipid or pwede rin tumagal yung construction. Mm-hmm. So, for me, yes, it's good na mag-hire kayo ng project manager and then mag-kuha uh, ka na lang kayo sa kiyawan, pwede yun. Pero i-make sure nyo po na tututuhan nung, nung project manager or nung project architect nyo yung project. Kasi kung let's say once a week lang siya pupunta at hindi siya yung totoong nagmamanage ng project, baliwat pala lang yun. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice. If you hire a contractor, ang pros nun, wala ka ng sakit ng ulo. Dahil si contractor ang magpapatakbo ng buong construction. Mm-hmm. So, siya na yung mag-schedule sa na yung mag-uutos sa tao, sa na yung mag-check ng quality, dahil um, he has to make sure na tama yung gagawin niya at mabilis yung trabaho para malaki ang profit niya. Mm-hmm. Dahil pag tumagal, tumagal yung construction, pag may mali sa construction at kailangang ulitin, si contractor ang rugi. Yes. So, doon ka naman, uh, may assurance na, maka, na pwedeng makamura ka din kapag ka kay contractor. Kasi, sisiguraduhin niya, bumilis yung construction. Diba? At tama. Dahil mm-hmm. sa yung malulugi, if not. Okay. Right. Ang, ang cons naman ng contractor, ang hinayar mo, is, baka masyadong malaki yung costing. 
Mm-hmm. Baka dahil hindi ka naman architecto, hindi ka naman engineer, wala kang alam sa construction, mm-hmm. kung hindi mo alam yung costing nun, baka... Um, Mabudol ka. Hindi mo, <laughs> o, diba? <laughs> baka madugas ka. Sorry, <laughs> yeah. Sorry for the term. Uh-huh. Pero, um, it can happen in both ways. Pwede kang, pwede mangyari sa iyo yun dun sa kabilang scenario, pwede mangyari yun sa kabilang scenario. So, that's why I gave you two to situation mm-hmm. kasi it is still up to you to wait you to wait it out alin yung mas okay para sa yo um for me i believe mas okay kung direct ka sa contractor mm-hmm. para hindi ka na hindi ka na mo problema sa lahat ng 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 pagtakbo ng construction pero the best way to do it is i-drive mo yung dalawa mm-hmm. pag ka ng contractor at tumuwa ka rin ng project ng, ng architect in charge mo just to check the supervision. Para si architect in charge or si architect na nagsusupervise, siya yung pupukpuk kay contractor. Kasi naiintindihan niya eh. Yeah. Pareha siya ng technical. So mm-hmm. naiintindihan niya kung, kung mabagal ba yung trabaho, kung tama ba yung materials na nilalagay, kung tama ba yung schedule, kung nakakatipid ka ba. So mm-hmm. it's good. So, pag pinagsama mo yung dalawang yun, mas makakapitid ka. Compared to sa first scenario at sa second scenario, dahil magkakaroon ng check and balance. Yes. Si contractor, kailangan niyang galingan, kailangan niyang binisan, kailangan niyang gawin ng tama, dahil alam nang may nagsiset sa kanya. Ngayon, si project architect mo naman, it, um, magiging, magiging mata mo on the construction para alam mo na tama yung nangyayari sa site. Mm-hmm. So, If you are, if you're going to ask me, doon ako sa third. Mm-hmm. Pero ang pinaka bottom line dito is first of all, before any construction, hire an architect. Yeah. Kasi sarin naman yung magpo-point sa tamang direksyon, sa tamang contractor, sa tamang project uh, project supervisor, sa tamang engineers, 'di ba? So Babalik ako dun sa simula na. Magsimula ka sa arkitekto Correct. para alam mo na gagayag ka ng tama. Yeah. So, there. I gave you three scenarios. It's up to you to choose ano yung better para sa situation mo. Ayan, meron siyang second question, Arki, from VRN. So, second question niya is, ano yung different, difference of getting landscape architect versus going straight to landscaping contractor or seller? Parang, parang yung isa is a firm tapos yung isa isa freelance architect landscape parang ganon tama ba landscape architect so ano which is uh, which is which daw anong mas maganda or recommended mo um for license ang license architect hiwalay pa po yan sa arkitekto ha license architect or the architect who would design the plan the landscaping mm-hmm. so um kung malaki yung development nyo kung marami yung mga yung papalagay nyo talaga tapos ito kaya landscape architect pero kung let's say, isang maliit na garden lang naman ito sa isang sa front yard mo, hindi na po kailangan ng landscape architect. Kasi sabi na natin, limang klaseng halaman lang naman yon o tatlong klaseng halaman mm-hmm. lang naman yon Pwede ka nang dumirekta sa, sa landscape contractor. In fact, pwede ka nang dumirekta dun sa nagtutulak ng kariton na may dalang halaman. Uh-huh, diba? uh-huh. So, pwede yun. So, yun. So, yung scale, so, sa scale sa nag-iiba. Pag malaking project, of course, it always better to hire the landscape architect. Mm-hmm. Uh, pero, kung let's say, yung, yung, yung halaman lang naman na bibilin mo para sa iyong paso, hindi na po kailangan mag-consult sa <laughs> Correct. Uh, same way with architects, no? Kung wari, um, ako, hindi na, uh, pag meron sa akin client na nagtatanong na, kung wari, mag-i-inquire sa akin how much yung fee ko for to design ganito, ganito, ganito. Um, if malalaman ko na ang gusto lang naman niya palang gawin ay i-move yung counter ng kitchen niya, mm-hmm. I will right away say, hindi niya na po ako kailangan. I will just I will just give you a free advice on how to do it, kung mm-hmm. ano yung magandang layout. Pero for you to to pay me, for my professional fee to draw it out lahat and everything at bayaran nyo ako, hindi na kailangan. Kasi, um, isang counter lang naman pala yung imamove mo eh. Mm-hmm. ba? Diba? Parang, parang, kung maliit na bagay lang yon, hindi na kailangan. At ang criteria for me, 
para ma- para malaman mo if need to hire a professional is is malaki yung construction na gagawin if magbabasag ka ng wall or magbibuild ka ng bagong wall mm-hmm. if maglalagay ka ng bubong if, 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 if it's a structure na may load may structure na kailangan mo mag, mag, mag uh, apply ng building permit mm-hmm. please hire the professional kasi kailangan mo yon dahil kailangan mo ng sistema doon sa blueprint mo para yeah. makapag-apply ka ng building permit yeah. pero kung mag-move ka lang pala ng isang pinto from, <laughs> from this to this hindi na kailangan dahil minimal yon hindi ka hihinga ng building permit so yun yung um, good way for us to know if you need a professional to do it for you and with you, or um, pwede dumirekta ka na doon kay foreman na magpapagawa ka. Kasi um, ako nandun pa rin, i-advise ko pa rin yung laging tama lang. Kasi ba't ko naman sisingilin yung kliyente? So, uh-huh. Alam kong makakatipid siya, hindi naman niya talaga ako kailangan. Nice, so, that's, that's, ano yan, napakabuting ano yan, act. <laughs> Yeah. Uh-huh. Being transparent and honest is really yes. really matters, di ba, sa profession din. Di ba? So, uh-huh. kung hindi kailangan ng built-in permit, hindi siya ganong kalaking project, let's say, mag-move ka lang naman pala ng isang, ng isang pinto, o kaya naman ay maglilipat ka lang ng cabinet sa iyong loob ng bahay, you don't need a building permit permit for that. And if you don't need a building permit, you don't need to hire us. But if magkakabit ka ng fence, magkakalayo ka pag magdadagdag ka ng 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 wall, mm-hmm. magdadagdag ka ng room, dadagdag ka ng floor, of course, please you have to hire an architect, an engineer. Uh, unang unang ga ng architect, and then the in, the architect will point you to the right personnel. Usually, um, the service of an engineer, structural engineer, electrical, sanitary, and all the other engineers that incapacitated in the in the building or the yung planning ng blueprint. Mm-hmm. Included yun sa package ng architect. Alright. So, kami rin po yung mag- magpo-point sa inyo na sa tamang engineer. Or kami na yung mag-hire sa engineer. Nice. So, importante na mag-hire kayo ng professional. At huwag yung basta-basta ang ipapagawa kung kanino lang. Uh, dahil safety nyo po ang kailangan natin doon, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, and bukod sa, of course, uh, ko nga lagi kong sinasabi, dun lang tayo sa tama. Yes. So, by law, dapat may building permit at para makakuha ng building permit dapat may professionals who are doing it for you or with you kapag ka magpapagawa kayo. Yes, kaya importante so, talaga and they can find professionals sa www.buildy.com. So marami kami mga available professionals diyan sa Buildy. Yes. Architect, before we move forward sa another question, medyo magandang question si Rems Ka- Rems Camacho eh. But before okay. that, Guys, if you like our live, please share it and tag two of your friends and use, use hashtags BuildyTV, ProStock, and The Digital Architect. Okay? And don't forget to follow us on Facebook as well as on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Si Architect, Arki, i-plug mo ulit yung YouTube account mo na bago before kita tanongin yeah. sa next question. <laughs> It's bit.ly uh, backslash CEA YouTube. So, naka, naka-bitly link na ako para madali nyo pong matype. Bit.ly backslash TVA YouTube para makapag-subscribe po kayo sa aking YouTube channel. Pero for now, wala pa akong naka-upload na video. But I already have about 200 subscribers. Yes. <laughs> so, um, it will yung very first video ko. Uh, hopefully, I can release that next week. Nice. We'll, we'll watch out for that, Architect. So, guys, stay tuned sa YouTube channel ni Architect J.P. Espino. Hopefully, um, you can also follow our Facebook account. It's uh, YouTube. Then, search yun lang, Buildy TV. So, yun. Follow, follow us on YouTube and Twitter and Instagram. Yung mga social media accounts namin, both ni Architect. Ayan. Ako na lang, Para... the digital architect. Pero kung hindi mo rin makita sa YouTube, you can go to uh, bit.ly backslash the digital architect. Yeah. Okay, thank you, architect. So, next question. Very relevant question din to, ah, sa mga ano. Um, ano to, architect? Um, parang napakagandang tanong nito para sa mga newbie, mga fresh grad huh? na architects, and of course, sa mga experience na rin. Baka they can share their thoughts on this. So, if you want to hire an architect, for design and build project, 
is it necessary to pay 10% of construction costs for their service? Is it applicable for fresh architects or for experienced architects only? So, standard ba tong 10% architect or ano, paano ba? Is it applicable for fresh architect or for experienced architect? Okay. Um, yes, it's applicable to both. Kasi, um, pag lisensado ka na, it doesn't matter kung kahapon mo nakuha ang lisensya mo or 30 years ka ng lisensado. Mm -hmm. Ang importante dito, lisensado ka na. Nice. Kung lisensado ka na, you can render your service as an architect. Mm -hmm. So, that, uh, magpapantay po doon yung karapatan natin or yung privilege natin as an architect to render our services. Oh. So, dapat walang discrimination doon. Standard okay. yun, yung 10%. Yung standard na 10%, ito na ang explanation ko. Okay. okay. For the residential, according to our UAP document, it's 10% of the construction cost. Mm -hmm. Ang dapat na sinisingil ng arkitekto sa sa kliyente. Okay. For the professional fee for the design. Okay. Malinaw po ah. Professional fee for the design for residential projects. Nag-iiba-iba pa yan. Depende kung anong klaseng residential project yan. According to our UAP documents, it should be 10% of the standard of the construction cost. Okay. Okay. Pero ito na naman ang panibagong paglilinaw. <laughs> Nakalagay din po doon sa UAP document that it is still our discretion kung ano yung isa-charge mo sa client mo. <laughs> so, nasa negotiation ngayon, gaya nung sinabi ko na I think in the past our very TV episode, <laughs> um, ang aking professional fee ay nagbabary nag nag namang sa dalawang criteria. First, what is the scope of the project or the scope of work? Meaning, kailangan kong malaman gaano kalaki yung gagawin ko. Mm -hmm. Ilang square meter ba yan? Ilang story ba yan? Uh, Bungalo ba yan? Two story, six story, four story. Residential ba ka or commercial? Gaano kalaki yung mismong floor area? I need to know the scope para alam ko gaano ko patagal gagawin. Me and my team, including the engineers, including the draftsmen, including the the 3D renderers or the 3D modeler. So, marami pa kasi yan. Hindi lang naman ako ang gumagawa ng isang blueprint. Mm -hmm. Sa isang blueprint, sabi ko nga eh, may isa pa akong sinabi na sa bawat isang project na makuha ng architect, there's at least four other engineers who get the project. Because we outsource, we, hindi pala we outsource, we actually ask uh, and have consultants, engineer consultants, to work with us to do the structural, mm -hmm. to do the electrical, the sanitary, Minsan may mechanical pa, may VCD pa. So, mm -hmm. depende kung ano yung project, depende sa scope. Yun yung first factor ko. Eh, yung second factor ko is, gaano kami ka-close? Mm -hmm. Diba? Nice. I always say that. Mm -hmm. it's true. In a Filipino setting, laging merong discount kung gaano, kung gaano mo ka-close yung tao. Um, ang isa lang na lagi kong sinasabi, lalo na sa mga bagong architects, is don't give it for free. There is no such thing as free design. Babalik mm -hmm. ako sa question ni Renz. Yung question ni Renz is in a design and build setting. Yes. Dapat daw ba na mag, uh, mag, mag charge ng 10%, 10% to architect for the design uh, pag sa design and build. Okay. Mm -hmm. Naginawin ko ulit. Ang dami na natin na pag-usapan. Pero again, <laughs> to clarify, in a design and build setting, um, hiwalay na naman yon sa uh, sa nakalagay sa UAP document. UAP meaning United Architects of the Philippines. This is the, which is the main organization of architects in the Philippines na recognized ng government, no? Okay. So, um, yung kailangan ba na mag-charge si architect ng 10%? Sinabi ko na it doesn't have to be 10% as per our document. Yes, it is 10%. Pero again, nasa, nasa negotiation nyo sa inyong dalawa. Uh -huh, ng client. Ng tayo doon. Design and build. Ito yung lagi kong sinasabi na no to free design. Kasi ang mm -hmm. nangyayari, other people who are not architects or sometimes architects, sad to say, are um, 
are marketing their services as a design and build na free yung design. Okay, lilinawin ko po sa lahat ng hindi technical. There is no such thing as free design. Bayad pa rin yun. Kasi bayad pa rin yung oras ng architect. Bayad pa rin yung services at oras ng engineers. Yung firma nila, bayad pa rin yung oras at um, at trabaho ng mga renderers, ng mga 3D modelers, and everybody else in the team who works with it. Mm-hmm. Anong ginagawa nila? Tinatago nila yung cost sa construction cost. So para sa akin, mali yun. Kasi in the first place, hindi naman tayo makakapagbigay ng tamang presyo Let's say, may nagbigay, may, meron kang client, kinausap, nagpapagawa siya ng two-story na bahay. Tapos, tatas, nabibigyan mo ba siya agad ng presyo ng wala pang plano? Of course not. Hindi mo siya pwede, hindi pwede, it's not possible para magpagbigay ka ng accurate pricing na wala pang plano. So, mm-hmm. for me ha, again, ito na naman, for me lang po ito. Pero sa mga nag-agree sa akin, please comment. For me, the right way to do it is, close a design contact first. Mm-hmm. Mag-usap muna kayo ni client, ito yung preso ko para sa design, ito yung preso para sa blueprint, mag-close kayo muna ng kontrata doon, once you already have uh, the, the complete uh, drawings, complete blueprints, complete documents, that's the only time na makakapagbigay ka rin ng accurate pricing for construction. Mm-hmm. Now, if you want to use that as a leverage para ikaw pa rin yung maging contractor, ikaw pa rin yung mag-contract, well, let's face it, mas malaki ang kita sa contractor compared to just the design services. Then, pwede mong binegotiate. Okay po, yung binayad niyo sa akin, TF, na this much, nabayad na ha, na-close na kasi yung, yung contract, di ba? Yung, yung first contract na design. Para clear. Yeah, yeah di ba? Magbayad muna sa iyo yung, yung, yung client. Mm-hmm. Now, Gusto mong ikaw pa rin yung maging contractor. And then, saka mo in-negotiate na, okay, this is the amount that you pay for me for the professional fee for the design. I'll be willing to offset this. Ma-minus ko po sa final contract natin, mm-hmm. sa construction, itong amount na to, as my way of saying, ito yung discount mo, as my way of saying thank you, na ako pa rin, mm-hmm. yung kinuha mo, to render the next service, which is construction. Nice. Para sa akin, that's the way to do it. Don't ever give free design. Mag-close muna kayo ng design contract kahit po sa mga contractors na, na hindi sila na hindi sila architects or mga engineers na nag-build din. Sana po, pagka kinausap na yung client nyo, i-declare nyo, ito yung amount for the design fee ni architect. Bayaran nyo po muna to para makapagsimula tayo ng design nyo, para makapagsimula tayo ng blueprint nyo, and then we will renegotiate after we finish this contract. Nice. In that way, walang masasapawan. In that way, mm-hmm. walang, 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 naiintindihan nilang malinaw that there is no such thing as free design. Right. Nice. Napaka-informative. Po po so, sana, for those who agree with me, comment also. And, para sa akin, kasi, isa yun sa napaka-importante na kailangang linawin sa industriya namin para walang matapahan. Mm-hmm. Diba? Yeah, it's just, again, nakakailang episode na tayo, pero bumabalik ako dun sa word na respect. Mm-hmm. If you have respect for your profession, if you have respect for those who have this license as their profession, yun po yung hinihingi namin. Please, no free to that. Nice, nice, nice. Actually, marami pang tanong architect. Um, pero, uh, I think, clear na yon kay ano no kay kay Rans Rans Camacho yung 10%. So kahit na bago, kahit na fresh grad ka or experienced architect ka, um, you can charge at least 10%. But it really depends on the projects kung residential ba yan. Tas meron pa tayong standard for ano di ba? Build in build in uh, ano ba yon? Uh, build design and build projects. So, it really depends on your negotiation with your clients. Next question, Arki. Uh, from Architect Leeds. And from Architect Leeds, sabi niya, many of us architects also had council projects because of this pandemic. 
what would you like to advise in order for us to continue gaining projects for this genre called the new normal? So, he's talking about new normal. Siguro, bigyan natin siya ng advice or or suggestions on how to handle projects after the pandemic, Arki. What can you, what's your thoughts, Arki? Okay. Um, first of all, I'm very sorry sa lahat po ng apektuhan ng pandemic na to, sa mga architects, engineers, contractors, and especially yung mga construction workers na biglang nawala ng trabaho. Uh, I'm very sorry na na dinadaanan nating lahat to, no? Um, but ay, wala namang nakapredict ng mangyayari to. Wala namang may gusto na mangyayari to. Um, but again, we go back to first and foremost, first and foremost yung safety ng tao, ng, 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 ng buhay ng tao, yung importante, di ba? So, yes, marami po mga projects na nag-stop or na-cancel because of this. Um, ang pwede ko lang siguro may advice sa inyo is you can focus on other uh, skills. If hindi man tayo makapag-construct dahil hindi pa tayo pwede mag-construct, bawal pa. Mm-hmm. Diba? Pwede kayo mag-offer ng design services for now. Pwede kayo mag-offer ng consultation services for now. Yeah. Pwede kayo mag-offer ng, let's say, paliitin pa natin, if you're good in drafting, if you're good in 3D, if you're good in rendering, you can offer that as well. Alam nyo po, dahil maraming maraming kompanya ang tumigil ang trabaho. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Hindi ibig sabihin nun, eh, wala na rin tayong possible na pwedeng kitain o possible na trabaho. Mm-hmm. Dahil tumigil ang mga kompanya, lalo na sa ibang bansa, and we, Filipinos, are very high skilled. Napakagaling natin sa yeah, trabaho. Agree. Kahit Correct. ano man yan, di ba? Kahit sa drafting, sa design, sa sa 3D, sa rendering, sa animation, or sa maybe sa estimate, sa value is being earned. There is so, there's so many things that we can offer. Alam niyo po ba, na ngayon, mas mataas ang demand ng mga skills na to sa ibang bansa? Mm-hmm. Dahil ang Europe, ang ang Australia, ang ang US, nagsarado ang mga ang mga uh, office nila. Firms, yeah. Diba? Diba? Mm-hmm hindi sila makafunction uh, ng ng normal ng normally ng ng traditional way ng function ng business natin now is the time that you can offer your skills your services as an outsource to this um to this companies abroad mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. napakarami pong trabaho lalo na ngayon sa pag-usapan natin yan last time Arky, right yung yeah. online uh, online freelancing as a, as a professional architect and yeah. If you want to mention, gusto mo i-mention yung ano, i-share sa kanila yung platforms para lang at least mas maingganya okay. sila. Okay, ang uh, um, very um pinakasikat po sa Pilipinas is Upwork, <clears throat> of course. Upwork.com. Mm-hmm. But me, I started with fiverr.com. Um mm-hmm. it's up to you if you want to use that, pero marami pang ibang platforms. Mm-hmm. Um if you also um if you also enroll or uh, attended my the digital architect workshop in face to face workshop mm-hmm. tinuturo ko rin doon on how you can get your own clients na hindi ka nadadaan sa platform na to um, mm. we are just trying to um initiate lang namin on how i can offer it nang hindi face to face no kasi um mas gusto ko secure pa rin pero mm. yes you can get your own clients na hindi ka nadadaan ng, ng, ng mga platforms na to na if you follow the strategies that I teach in the digital architect workshop. So, yun, you can also do that. Pero what I can only tell you for now is yes, marami pa po tayong paraan para kumita. Yes. In fact, sabi ko nga dun sa seminar ko, the UAP seminar, in fact, mas dumami yung projects ko ngayon. Mas dumami yung nangangailangan sa akin ngayon. Mm-hmm. Um, ano yung difference? The only difference is, na una akong lumabas in a digital platform. The only difference is, I'm using digital marketing and social media. In, you know, that's why, pag may mga kailangan sila on on these services, if you go on your Facebook, sa so lahat po ng nanonood sa atin ngayon, go on your Facebook, 
type in yung dun sa, sa search bar, freelance architect. And most likely, I will be on the top three. Diba? Top results. So, diba? So, dun sa results nila. Kaya, ako yung nakakakuha ng process. Mm-hmm. Pero hindi ibig sabihin, walang demand. Napakarami pa rin pong demand. Napara- napakarami pa rin trabaho. Mm-hmm. Napakarami pa rin opportunities. Nice. So, that's up to you to tap it. Um, sinishare ko na nga sa inyo yung knowledge for free. Eh. Sinishare ko na nga sa mga seminars, sa mga UAP seminars for free. So that all of us can have this as well. Napakarami pong projects abroad. Mm-hmm. Um, dollars pa yung kita nyo. You don't have to leave your house. You don't have to leave your home. You can still uh, stay safe in your home and earn dollars uh, doing the same thing. Nice. Doing, uh, diba? Yon. Dollar ang kitaan. So ano yan? Uh, mas malaki ang value if you convert it into Philippine Peso kung nandito ka sa Philippines, right? Yes. So, mas malaki yung kitaan. Pero sa tingin ko, Arki, ang ano dyan, ang space doon sa binanggit mo, no? Nahimayin mo yung skill sets ng isang architect when it comes to design, yes. sa pag, 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 ano ba to? Sa other tasks na, ginag- na pwedeng gawin ng isang architect. Siguro, you can offer, pwede natin tawagin na microservices. Yung yes. maliit na bagay na pwede mong i-offer during this pandemic, you can offer that online. Which is marami. Sa, gaya nga nang nabanggit ni Architect. No? I also work online din. Eh. So parang, kung isipin mo, marami talagang, ano, maraming mga businesses, especially mga startup businesses, abroad or offshores, na nangangailangan ng mga microservices na yan. So, yun yung pwede natin i-offer. I think that's also applicable based on, based doon sa sinabi ni Architect, yung mga microservices na pwede natin i-offer. Ay, napaka, napakagandang ano, Architect, napakagandang uh, advice, mga tips na, 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 na ibigay mo today. Pero meron pa tayong questions from, ito, napaka-importante and relevant to Architect since we're doing online, di ba? Online freelancing and digital marketing. Galing kay Chen Wei Lizardo Leong Lun. Ang question niya, how can we handle yung mga nag-phishing lang na clients? Ayan, ito architect, maganda pag-usapan yung mga bogus clients na talaga namang nakaka, ano, nakaka-pikon. Anong masasabi mo dito, architect? <clears throat> okay. Um, as a freelancer, one thing I learned during the freelancer mindset is always come with a heart to help. Mm-hmm. So, hindi ko naiisipin kung fishing lang si client. Uh-huh. Okay. Kung tanong siya ng tanong sa akin, kung marami na siyang information na nakukuha sa akin, kakatanong, mm-hmm. uh, uh, pero hindi niya ako denier, mm-hmm. that's fine. Babalik ako dun sa, okay na, natulungan naman kita eh. Di ba? Uh, okay na, by answering your question, I am showing to you the value of architects. Okay. Which is again, going, to my, going back to my advocacy uh-huh. of sharing the awareness of the value of the profession, the mm-hmm. architect. Okay. So, go ahead, answer all the questions. Pag nagtanong ang iyong client, maganda po ba itong material gamitin? Go ahead, answer it. Maganda po ba dito ilagay yung kitchen? Sige, sagutin mo lang. Pero isa lang ang sasabihin ko, para hindi ka naman ma-abuse, mm-hmm. diba, ng mga ganitong files, mm-hmm. is never ever start a project ng walang contract, yeah. ng walang signed contract, and walang acceptance fee, or walang down payment. That's very important. Dahil um, kapag uh, tanong ng tanong, tapos ikaw naman, excited ka kasi, akala ma-close na yung project, mag-drawing ka na, mag-3D ka na, gumawa ka na ng renders, gumawa ka na ng animation, tapos sinig mo dun sa client, tapos biglang isi-sing down ka na lang, that's your fault. Mm-hmm. Diba? Yun yung, iba, pagkakamali mo na yun, bilang di, di di the architect or the designer. Kasi mm-hmm. hindi ka humingi ng kontrata eh. Diba? So, ako, kahit simpleng sketch, hindi ako nagsisend sa, sa uh-huh. client hanggat wala kaming signed contract. Dapat merong signed contract, dapat merong acceptance fee. It's your way para naman maprotektahan din yung sarili mo na hindi ka rin naman makakabuso. Uh-huh. Diba? So, pero for simple question, nung tatanong sila kung anong maganda, anong magandang gawin, anong magandang, um, anong magandang materialis o papano, I answer that kasi 
um, for every question that I, that I answer, that also builds the, you know, the mindset na, uy, dapat pala talaga sa arkitekto ako nagtatanong. Kasi alam na alam na yung ginagawa niya, pinag-aralan niya to, pinagsirapan niya tong makuha, at hindi ako dapat kung kanin-kanino lang magpapagawa ng plano, dahil siya lang ang right professional to do this. Mm-hmm. So, I answer every question. In fact, napakaraming nag-message sa akin sa, sa page ko ng mga questions from clients, contractors, engineers, marami estudyante. I answer each and every one of them. Minsan kahit madaling araw. Kasi mm-hmm. babalik ako dun sa advocacy ko, di ba? I want to share the value of the profession. Mm-hmm. And if you want people to know kung ano yung value ng ginagawa mo bilang arkitekto, dapat patunayan mo, ikaw yung nakakaalam sa industriya na to, ikaw mo nakakaalam sa party na to. And hindi yun, hindi mo mapapatunayan yun sa mga tao kung magiging selfish ka sa information. Yeah. Nice, nice. Good, very good answer, architect. Napaka-buti, napaka-generous ni architect sa information. That's why uh, mara, ma, that's why maraming ano eh, maraming nakaka-close na deal, di ba? Kasi malay mo, yung yung client na yun na napakakulit, magtanong yung pala yung mag, 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 makuklose mong deal, right? So, ano lang siguro, tsagaan lang. Pero guys, you have to protect yourself then Kaya nga nang sabi ni architect, um, wag mong simulan hanggat wala kang black and white. So, prepare a black and white para at least um, may assurance na hindi ka tatakbuhan, na hindi ibibigay yung down payment and all. So, always always put it on paper. Okay, very good advice, architect. I, I think, meron tayong ano? Uh, if if mm. I may add, um, you, the first thing that you have to also, the second na, kasi nagsabi na ako first time. Mm. The, the, another thing that it proves kapag sinasagot mo yung mga question nila, is yun nga, that you know what you're talking about, and secondly, yung integrity mo. Yeah. So, mataas yung trust baga yung trust rating mo sa mga tao na to. Yes. And if tumataas yung integrity mo, tumataas yung trust nila sa sa'yo, it's easier for me to build the clients. In fact, sa totoo lang, um, kung ang ibang arkitekto or ibang professionals nanihirapang tumingil, tumingil, ako hindi kasi yung mismo client ko na yung magsasabi, pagpasa ko ng nakalagay kasi sa kontrata ko, ito yung phase 1, ito yung phase 2, ito yung phase 3, ito yung phase 4. For this phase 1, ito yung dapat mong bayaran. For this phase 2, ito yung dapat mong bayaran. Upon mm-hmm. submission of, let's say, for me, upon submission of design development or architectural design, ito yung dapat mong bayaran. Nakalagay na yan sa kontrata ko. Eh. Mm-hmm. And once I send it to them, and then I confirm na approve na po tayo dito, I will, I, I will proceed to the um, consultation now with the engineer, yung mismo client ko na yung magsasabi, Okay, babayaran ko na sa'yo yung gantong amount, no? Mm-hmm. Sila pa yung nagsasabi. Kasi nandun na yung trust nila, eh. Alam na nila na gumagawa ka ng tama. So, if na-build mo yung, yung rapport na yun, if na-build mo yung trust na yun, dun pa lang sa course ng pagsagot mo sa mga tanong nila from the very start, hindi ka manihirapang manihirap. Yes, very, yeah, correct. I agree, I agree. Be transparent lang din, architect, right? So, Next question, Arky, from... Uh, thanks daw, sabi ni Architect Lids, by the way. Okay, yeah. Architect Si Architect Lids, napaka-active, no? Uh, share, uh, active sharer din siya, ha? Si Architect Lids. So, later on, Architect, I will check your, ano, I will check your timeline kung nasunod mo ba yung ating, ano ba tawag dyan? Yung ating mechanics. Kapag sinare nyo sa timeline, guys, don't forget, you have to, you need to tag two of your friends, and use use the hashtags ProStock, BuildyTV, and The Digital Architect. Ayan. So, Arky, since ano, um, medyo mahaba-haba na yung napag-usapan natin, at meron pa tayo ditong questions from, question from Lai Calma. Shout out daw, kasi ano siya, fresh grad siya, and uh, working na siya. He's, he, she's practicing her ano, profession na. So, baka nanghihingi siya ng advice, Arky. Ang question niya is, what is your track record of completing a project within the original budget? Yan yung question niya. Hello, Lai Kalma. Okay. Mm-hmm. Isa pa po yung dapat na ma-realize ng mga tao, hindi lang ng architects, or people in our industry, is whatever you start on the design, from schematics, 
and then you move to architectural, and then you move to engineering, and then you move to blueprint, and then you move to construction drawings, and then you move to the actual construction. Lahat po yan nagbabago. Mm -hmm. In my 16 years of um of career in this industry, to be really honest, wala pong renewing ko ganito na build exacto. Mm -hmm. Walang exacto. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, track record of completing a project within the original budget, ma masyadong big para sagutin yung tanong na yan, no? siguro yun na lang ang pinakamagandang sagot. It will still always change. Mm -hmm. Pwedeng mas mura kung let's say si client mo eh, naisip niya, ay, hindi pala kasa yung budget ko. Ito lang pala yung budget ko. So, pwede architect, baguhi mo yung specs para makamura ko. So, babaguhi mo yun. Para kung, kung yung original na, na nilagay mong specification is mamahalin na tiles, or kung ang un una mong nilagay na specification is mamahalin granite, biglang nagsabi sa'yo yung client mo na, ay, hindi ko na pala kaya. Ito lang yung, ito lang yung approved na loan amount ko. Baguhi natin yung specs. So, pwede mas mura. Oh, yeah. Meron naman na makukulit na yun makukulit na uh, na construction nangyayari sa construction na pabago-bago dahil kumare nung yung inapprove nila na design is ganito lang nung nakikita na nila kasi minsan iba yung ano eh iba yung vision nila sa sa drawing kaya iba yung pag nakikita nila sa actual biglang magbabago sila ay maliit pala yung room ko extend na natin, extend na natin or baguhin mo na to. So, babago ka na naman. Mm. Bagong drawing na naman yun. Of course, dahil nagbago ka, nagbago isip niya, nagbago yung location, nagbago yung laki, nagbago yung materialis, magbabago na naman. Lalaki yung preso. So, there's no exact answer to that. Siguro, ang pinakamalinaw na sagot is, hindi siya posibleng maging exacto. Pwedeng mura, pwedeng sobra, pero never sa magiging exacto. It will always change kapag nagko-construct na tayo. Even yung presyo ng materialis nagbabago. Kung tinot mo sa, let's say, four months ago na ang presyo ng bakal ay ganito, nung ginawa na sa after four months, iba na yung presyo ng bakal. Yeah, correct. So, magbabago ulit yun. Mm -hmm. diba? So, to answer the question, it will always be uh, different. Yes. Change is constant, architect, ika nga. Yeah. <laughs> Kasi yeah. tama nga naman, if ever na parang as much as you wanted to maintain the original budget, di ba? If may mga minimal revision or may mga major revision na ipagawa si client, definitely your budget will change as well, right? So, architect, um, do you have, ano, sa, ano mo, sa mga watch party mo yan? Do you have may nakikita ka bang question on your end? Hindi ko kasi nakikita sa watch party ko kung meron man eh. Mm -hmm. um, nasa, nandito pa din sa main building ako. Ah, okay. Pero I sent yung ano, yung, yung Q&A post ko. Baka we can get a few more questions from yeah, that. Yeah, I'll check. I'll check. I'll check then. Sige, Arky. Retrieve natin, guys. So, if you still have Comment questions... Comment pa po kayo. Comment pa po kayo na yeah. if question pa kayo. Yeah. Oh, another round of questions, guys. <laughs> Masipag kami ni Architect magsagot ng mga questions, eh. <laughs> And... Ay, Arky, meron akong magandang tanong. Di ba sabi mo, ask anything? Yes. Ito, may nagtanong. Si Architect Arnold Arnold. <laughs> si Architect Arnold Arnold, ang tanong niya, Architect, single ka pa ba daw? <laughs> okay. I'm a single mom. And I'll be proud to say that. Na oh, single pa rin. <laughs> I'm a single mom. Single pa rin. I'm not married. I have a, I have a 14, 15, 15 year old daughter. Na. Nice. So, Hindi halata, Architect, ha? Ngayon ko lang nalaman yan, Architect, ha? Hindi ko alam yan. Ay, hindi ko tinatago yun. <laughs> uh, ayan. Ayan, architect Arnold Arnold. Architect din siya, ah. Architect. Architect Arnold Arnold, yan. So, alam mo na, architect. Ano pa? May question akong ano. I'll go back to it. May nag-question sa akin go. sa sa comment eh. Uh, search ko lang. 
Yeah, take your time, architect. Nawawala ako sa ano eh. Nawawala ako dun sa live mo pag sinad ko eh. I, I sent it to your ano? I sent it to your uh, inbox? Actually, yeah, ito. Yung sa ano mo, yung sa post mo, si... Marami aking tanong eh. Pero ito, baka ito yon yung about sa building permit process. Um, Ay, hindi. Meron pa, isa pa. Yung mahaba yung question niya. Tara lang. Hindi pa Mahaba ang question niya. Sige. Sige, while, while, while searching for that question, architect, um, let me just inform you guys that we are, we have a raffle, actually a raffle, a free build it t-shirt raffle. You just have to share this live on your timeline and then tag two of your friends using hashtags build it TV, pro stock, and the digital architect. Ayan. So, para manalo kayo ng limited edition t-shirt. Nakita mo na ba, Arky? Yes, nakita ko na. Okay, okay. go. This is regarding dun sa um, architects using paid advertisement. Kasi oh. um, I have a new post mm -hmm. um, na marami ako nakikita ang mga architects na naka-sponsored post. When, when you be also being a freelancer, you know, if it's a sponsored post, automatic naka-Facebook ads yun, right? Yes. So, that's paid. Mm-hmm. So, ito yung question niya. Uh, if this page as prohibition, again, is not a millennial idea. My question is, if it's practical in our time, and what was the origin or rationale of this when it was put in the code? Oh. This has been a topic very much challenged by young architects at AIA and RIBA when talking about today's marketing for architects. Mm -hmm. It's time to question this antiquated ethical standard and evolve to the needs of our time. Only the ones who can keep up with the change survive. Mm -hmm. my, my, my sense on the topic. So, mm -hmm. okay. Simple ang question niya. Mm -hmm. uh, meron pa ba daw rason? Hindi, dapat daw ba namin questionin yung code of ethics na hindi kami dapat gumamit ng paid advertisement? Mm -hmm. Here is the point. May punto sa na nung ginawa yung code of ethics, it was a very long time ago at iba na yung situation ngayon from that time. Diba? So ngayon, meron ng, meron ng digital marketing, meron ng Facebook ads, meron ng Google ads, marami ng iba't ibang class yes, ads. Yes, correct. Right? So, and as uh, me, being, uh, being one of those who always tell people na it's a good time for us to transition to digital, mm -hmm. um, eh, parte rin sa sinasabi ko, is maganda sa atin na to be out there. Mm -hmm. Pero ang tanong nga is, dapat ba tayong gumamit ng paid? Ang sinasabi na, dapat ba questionin? Well, questionin na natin. Sanya, questionin na natin kasi hindi na siya napapanahon. Oo. Okay. okay. Valid ba, ba, architect? Valid ba yung, ano niya? Valid ba yung point niya? Valid point. It's a valid mm -hmm. point. Kasi, okay. Kasi ako sa always nagsasabi sa mga tao na the world is changing, we should adopt to the change. Yes. Church. Okay. Ang punto ko naman is kaya naglagay ng law o kaya nag naglagay ng ruling is for us to follow. Mm -hmm. Diba? Ngayon, it's not up to us para questionin. Okay lang. Questionin mo. Of course, meron tayong iba't ibang opinion. And tama sa nagbabago mm -hmm. ng panahon, nagbabago ng ang mundo. Yes, questionin mo. Dito pwede tayo mag-file ng whatever movement para ma-revisit yon ng mga nakaupo. Sino man, no? Mm -hmm. Hindi ko na nga alam kung kaninong governing body niya sa dapat, no? Mm -hmm. Pero, ang sa akin lang is, merong ruling. Mm -hmm. Tumunod mo na tayo sa tama. Yes, okay. Ngayon, kung pinipreston mo sa, that's your opinion. Pero may ruling eh. Mm -hmm. Merong ano eh. Well, it's not really a law. It's mm -hmm. just a code of ethics. It's, our, it's in our code as an architect. Mm -hmm. Pero, nung sinumpaan natin, yung ating serviso bilang maging arkitekto, kasama yung code of ethics eh. Mm -hmm. Diba? Yeah. So, para sa akin, sumunod ka muna. Kung, ba, kung sinasabi sa code of ethics, bawal lang paid advertisement, eh di sumunod ka. Mm -hmm. Um, going back to sinasabi ko kanina, with regards to integrity, with regards to respect, mm -hmm. diba? so, paano ka 
langin ng mga taong hindi naman arkitekto, ng mga layman, ng publiko, kung ikaw mismo lumalabag. Yes. Diba? Right. So, sumunod ka lang muna sa tama. Sabi ba, walang paid ads. Sabi ba, walang paid advertisement. Sumunod ka. I mean, it can be done. Yeah. Ako, um, ang sina- maraming kumikoskon sa akin kasi sinasabi, pero nga nagsabi sa akin, architect nga, um, ikaw nga eh, meron kang sarili mong online movement eh. Bakit ako pinagbabawalan mo? ba? Diba? Ang sa akin, ang napakalinaw na sagot ko po sa bumabati ko sa akin is, whatever I'm doing online, digitally, is still guided by the code of ethics. Yeah. I don't have paid ads. Hindi ako nagpa-Facebook ads. Um, <clears throat> yung mga iba pang code of ethics doon, uh, para daanan lang natin, oh, nakakalagay rin doon na if you should not be misleading, mm-hmm. yeah. yun, kung ano lang yung kaya mong gawin, yun yung gawin mo. Yeah. Kunwari, arkitekto ka, pero may nag-consult sa'yo tungkol sa electrical, sinagot mo, ito yung dapat bla 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 bla, or ikaw yung kumuha ng project na yun, dahil nakakaintindi ka rin naman, pero hindi ka naman electrical engineer, eh. mm-hmm. diba? So don't do it. Diba? So dun ka. So mm-hmm. sunod ka lang dun sa kung ano yung na- nasa tama. Yes. So again, ano ba ibig sabihin ng ethics? Ethics is also equivalent to morality. So if hindi ka susunod dun sa ethics, parang parang immoral ka na rin, parang illegal ka na rin. Mm-hmm. So para sa akin, sunod ka muna. Kasi kaya naman, kaya mo palakihin yung digital presence mo without paid ads. Yes, yes. So, so, I agree, eh. I agree. And, you guys, pero ko na nga ng libre. Alam yes. mo ba na gumastos ako, nag-enroll ako sa iba't ibang mga workshops, kita, um, nakipagkilala ako kung kanitaninong mentors, nagbayad ako para matutunan ko lahat ng ginagawa ko ngayon. Yes. At okay. now, I am sharing it to you guys for free. Mm-hmm. Napaka-generous ni Architect. Free, diba? yeah. So, bakit pa kayo magkakaroon ng rason para tumaliwas dun sa code of ethics? Yes, correct. Ako na yung proof that it can be done. Mm-hmm. Another very good, um, siguro, wag lang ako, wag lang puro ako. Um, another very good example of an architect na nakikiala online is Architect John. Sa kanya naman, YouTube siya. YouTube channel siya. Mm-hmm. Ito rin. Naka-abide pa rin siya sa code of ethics. Nakikilala siya. Hindi siya sumort ka. Hindi siya nagbayad ng paid ads para makilala siya, sinisa-isa rin niya, pinagsagaan din niya na makilala online nang makasunod siya sa Code of Ethics. Yeah. Another one is a maestro, um, Architect Fernandez. Nakikilala rin siya online. He also has a Facebook page. He also has a YouTube channel. Pero again, nakaabide pa rin siya sa Code of Ethics. Mm-hmm. So, babalik ako sa let's try to keep dun pa rin sa ethics. Kasi, kung laging kung ang advocacy nga natin ay um, lumagay sa tama, huwag agawin ang trabaho hindi hindi sa iyo, mm-hmm. auto design, 'di ba? Parang sinasabi natin, be be a good example, be a good person, na lumagay ka sa tama. Yeah. Kasi ikaw din, so kailangan mong sumunod doon. Huwag muna natin questionin 'yon. You can question it, yes. Pero hangga't hindi pa po nabibigyan ng nabibigyan ng bagong ruling for that, sumunod mm-hmm. muna tayo. Yes. Sa akin. Yeah. Diba? Sa classroom may batas. No, Arky. Ah. <laughs> Bawal lumabas. Bawal lumabas. Pero huwag mag-paid ads. Ayan. Nice. Thank you for that answers, architect. And, and, ano then, good thing then, while, while promoting or while promoting your, your advocacy as well as your firm, Uh, siguro importante na maisip or malaman din ng mga audience mo na you are not really ano allowed to to sign up for an advertisement na ano ba yun magbabayad ka ng ads para mag, magkaroon ng traffic yung ano mo yung page mo yan, very important yan and you should follow your code of ethics as a profession diba Now, um, architect, medyo marami na tayo na pag-usapan today. So, na, actually, nag-overtime na tayo, no? Pero, ang sarap, ang sarap makinig sa mga tips and advices mo. And, ang sarap, uh, ang, ang sarap pakinggan ng mga sagot mo kasi, uh, it, it really opens up, uh, our minds. Lalo na ako, wala akong 
idea about architecture and bago lang ako sa construction industry. And then, but before we close, architect, I'd like to ask this question from Sir Stuart Lim. And meron siyang pahabol na tanong eh. Architect, do you do condo interior design? I'm not sure if tama or pwede, or, or, or applicable sa ito. But, mas maganda ikaw sa sumagot. Do you do condo interior design? Okay. Again po, um, architectural interiors is also included in our services. Mm-hmm. Um, pero, um, hindi ko siya i-advertise na I'm an interior designer. Okay. I'm an architect. Yun po ang lisensya ko. Um, but if there's a, a client who asks me to do architectural interiors for them dahil ako na yung architect nila before, mm-hmm. then yes, I'll do that. So, oh, okay. So, Okay, okay. Pero I think marami ka namang kilalang art interior designer. Pwede yeah. pwede mo i-recommend, di ba? Si ano. And they can also search on Google, di ba? Yes, we have ano, we have professional sa Bildi. Yan, good, good, good. Again, guys, um uh, before we end this session, uh I just like to ano to share guys yung ano, yung a quick ano lang, a quick uh, info about Bildi. Bildi is a platform where we Uh, put all professionals within the construction industry na magkaroon ng isang platform that focuses in the construction. Kasi, pansin nyo, di ba, uh, sa architecture, konti yung nagko-focus at may advocacy para makilala yung profession. Sa construction, bihira ka lang din makita ng platform that focuses on construction. So, this is the time that we are focusing on construction professionals, yung mga design professionals and architecture natin, and lahat ng mga engineers dyan, Please visit our website. It's www.buildy.com and sign up as a professional and we will help you promote yourself without any advertising cost. Okay? So, mas maganda na ano, simulan niyo yung digital presence niyo with Buildy. Yan, let's collaborate. Yan, malay niyo next time kayo na po yung guest okay. namin ni Architect. Yeah, diba? ni architect yeah. JP. Um, isa yan sa naturo ko on the seminar 6 and seminar 7 ng UACP DC online. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing that you can do for digital marketing that is allowed in a code of ethics is mm-hmm. video interview. Yes, so, yes. So, next time po, kayo naman po yung maimbitahan ni Will. Yes. He's a speaker on Buildy TV. That's one way for you to market your services as an architect or kahit ano pa man yung professor. Yes, don't hesitate to ano. Yeah, go ahead, Arky. Okay, so thank you very much, no? I would just like to invite you all to go to www.freedomsummitglobal.com because on June 12, 13, and 14, there are at least 36 international speakers who will be sharing our knowledge, our expertise on how You can build your online presence. You can build your business, your um, whatever you are offering in the global market. Wow, going global so, na architect ka? Yes, going global na ako international na. Nice, Ang nice. Congratulations. Dito, I thank you. Ang iba pang speakers dito are from Europe, from US. Uh, most of them are international speakers, and I'm very excited. and honored to be one of the speakers to share um, to share our no- uh, my knowledge on Freedom Summit Global. Um, okay lang ba basahin ko? Go ahead, Arky. Basahin ko lang yung skill niya. It says, mm. learn from more than 36 thought leaders around the globe to help you get back on a new track. Freedom Summit Global Online is finally happening on June 12, 13, 14, 2020. Three days mindset making and monetizing tips to help you navigate to the new normal join the second season of freedom summit global road to freedom learn how to achieve time location and financial independence and get all the insider details success blueprints and strategies to build a thriving online business we'll be revealing our expert tips and tricks of the trade on how to start building and scaling your digital businesses Get insightful tips on digital marketing, e-commerce, drop shipping, FBS, ads, affiliate marketing, email marketing, remote work, cooperating, and many more. Napakadami. So yeah, there are 
30 plus, 37, hindi ko na mapakita yun. <laughs> Pero it's token. Ang dami namin. Mm-hmm. Pero yun, nagro level up na, nasa global arena na po tayo. Nice! Congrats, Arky! Yeah. So, I am one of the speakers uh, representing Philippines to to help and also share my knowledge on being a digital nomad. Nice! Congratulations, so, Architect, for that time uh, milestone. And probably on our next session, uh, pero actually magkakaroon pa, hindi, this is not the last session or episode with Architect JPS Pino, guys. Um, siya yung ating, ano, siya yung ating professional for May, but we will invite her on a monthly basis, Architect, right? On a monthly basis, every Saturday pa rin, to have a conversation with uh, Bill D. So, guys, if you're interested to be featured in one of our live or Probably we can write an article for you on our website. Please don't hesitate to contact me personally. My email address is willy at buildy.com. Send me your inquiries at or 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 suggestions or feedback at willy at buildy.com. So guys, I'll be waiting for a fruitful collaboration just like this with architect uh, JP Espina. Okay? And again, congrats Arki. Um any ano, closing remarks, Arki, before I end the live? dami ko na nasabi. Siguro invite ko na lang sila ulit to follow my, my my social media account. Of course, my main account is the Digital Architect page or you, you can go to bit.ly underscore the Digital Architect. Type niya lang po yun. It will direct you to my uh, the Digital Architect page. I also have Instagram account called the Digital Architect. Um, I also have Twitter uh, also the Digital Architect. Uh, I have LinkedIn account the Digital Architect as well. And ang pinakabago ko pong account is YouTube. I will be uh, mag-start na po akong mag-share ng videos on YouTube channel. Um, you can subscribe to my YouTube bit.ly underscore TDA YouTube, all capital letters ulit. So, that's TDA for the Digital Architect, TDA YouTube, sunod nyo lang sa bit.ly. So, sana po mag-subscribe kayo sa aking YouTube channel. Nice! Thank you, Architect. Kami naman, uh, Buildy TV, or Buildy sa taas, nakikita na sa taas, yan. Follow nyo lang po yung mga social media accounts namin. And then, sa mga nag-share at nag-join doon sa ating promo or sa ating raffle, I will announce the winners later sa ating Facebook page. Please follow our Facebook page, uh, Facebook slash Buildy. So, uh, yan. I-check nyo doon kung sino yung mga nanalo, guys. Okay? Again, um, this is Willy National, your host for today. And thank you for watching. See you again next week. Thank you, Arky. Thanks, Will. Thanks, Willy TV. Bye. Bye.